In this tutorial in Windows 10, I'd like to show you how to work with zip files. Uh, basically, a zip file is a compressed file that contains other items. Now, like any file in your file system, it acts like a file folder. So you can contain different kinds of items in the same file. Let me show you rather than talk more about it. I have in this directory uh, a JPEG. I will click on that with my mouse and then a Word document. I'll hold the control key down and click on that. And then I'm going to click, hold the control key and click on a couple of these Excel worksheets. Let's assume I want all of these to be copied into a zip file, maybe to send to someone else or store at a different location. Now with all of them selected that I want for now, I'll right click on uh, any one of them and click on my send to. Now when I get to the send to part, the second option is a compressed or zipped folder. When I click on that, it will create it. It will give it the name of the last item that I selected. And I'll probably want to change that. We will just call this experiment. And now I have a folder. It didn't, it did not remove any of the original data called experiment that contains those particular files. If I double click on it, I can now see the contents of that folder. So you see the four file files, the JPEG, the Word document, and the, the two Excel items. So I'm going to click here. Let's assume I want to add something to the zip file. Well, all I have to do once it's created, I can click on test here and drag and copy it into the, the experiment file and let it go. And now if I double click on my zipped folder, which has a zipper on it, I see that I also have the item called test. Okay, so that's a way in which I can move things into a zip folder. Now the nice thing about it is it also shrinks those items, especially if I want to email them quickly. You can buy aftermarket products that will actually give you the option of putting a password on a zip folder, which is kind of nice as well. So what, how do I get the information out of a zip folder? Um, let's assume someone emails you one and you want to take information and now extract it so I can use it. Easiest way to do it is to right click on the zip folder and click on extract all. Now what it will do is it will automatically say let's put this in a subfolder. Notice my main folder is display files. So it wants to create a subfolder with the same name as the zip folder, the zip item. So it wants to create this document called experiment and then extract everything there. I sometimes like to do it this way. I sometimes would rather not. Let me just show you a different way to do it. I'm just going to call this um, uh, extracted items just to make it easy. And I can show them when I'm done or not. I will unclick this for now and I will just click on extract. Now notice what it did. It, it created a folder called Extracted Items. And this is not, doesn't have a zipper on it. It's a regular file folder in Windows 10 file structure. I'll click on it. And now this contains the extracted items that were in my zip folder. If I go up a, uh, up a file level, I see I still have the zip folder with everything in it. But everything that has been taken out of here and copied into the extracted items folder. So I did not mess with the original. I could extract it again into the same folder, into a different folder a million times. It doesn't really care. So I have my original zip folder and I have a folder I created in order to put items there. There's only one thing I'd like to caution you about when it comes to zip files. If you ever receive one from a source that you don't trust, or even from a source you trust but you don't expect this kind of file, be very careful about opening the files and running the files because there's an awful lot of malware uh, that has been um, programmed into the zip format. 
uh, and sometimes even ransomware that can do damage to other files in your system. Uh, so don't extract and run stuff from a zip file unless you know where it came from and you trust it. I'm Jim from the Sharper Turtle. Zip files are useful, but they can be a little bit tricky to figure out if you've never used them before. We hope that this exercise has been helpful so that you can use zip files in a safe and efficient way to take their contents and put them where you want to in your computer system. If you found this lesson useful, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe, if you would, to our YouTube channel here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you so much.